talk about the Humble Crate Artisan Marketplace. We've been open since November 25th of last year. We had a really good uh, few months. And then, um, of course, the virus hit and we had to close our doors for a little bit. But um, I started taking appointment only shopping and doing a lot of deliveries and doing some curbside pickups. And then now that we're open back up, we've gotten um, more vendors. A lot of people are coming in here and wanting to be vendors. Um, we have everything from um, cottage foods. We've got specialty um, items. We've got maple syrup. And Josh is going to talk to you here in a minute about his stuff. And um, we have textiles, glass, leather, pottery. We're located at 18 East Columbus Street in Pickerington, Ohio, right in the downtown village at Lockville and Columbus Street. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, Josh has a meeting that he has to get to, so I'm gonna let him talk first about his stuff and then I'll go around and uh, talk about all the other uh, vendors that are in here. There's over 50 of them and I'll just take about, you know, a few seconds, a minute or whatever. Oh, after Anna talks, um, I'm sorry, I forgot Anna's on the call too. And, um, and then let you know about what we have. So here is Josh. I don't know how to turn it around to you. Hey guys, how are you doing this morning? My name is Joshua Williams. I'm uh, with Williams Maple Products uh, here in the Canal Winchester uh, area. And uh, if you're not real familiar with, with maple syrup, uh, it's a all natural product made strictly from a maple tree. There's zero additives. And uh, the fun part for me, honestly, that I really enjoy about it is that we, we actually do this as a ministry. Um, I've got a full-time job, but Maple for us has always just kind of been a, a fun thing that we've grown from uh, a small school project to a hobby to now a small little business. And we use it, uh, a lot of our funds, to turn around and bless others with it. Um, we feel like we've been blessed uh, in so many different ways, and this is an opportunity for us to give back. And uh, I just, I love the, the whole maple industry. Uh, I grew up in Maine and living here in Ohio. Uh, I never thought I'd be able to make maple syrup again. And uh, even as a kid making maple back home, uh, we always use it as a ministry as well. And it's been fun. We've, we have several uh, locations that we work with here um, in the area. And uh, we also work with other producers who are trying to learn how to make maple syrup. So we're teaching them um, and providing them a lot of the equipment and resources that they need. And then uh, just partnering with people like Janice and, and little retail outlets. We're also providing in some restaurants now, um, trying to help people understand that you, you do have an option of utilizing an all natural product. Um, when you go to a restaurant, you don't have to have just the, uh, the, the fake product as we would call it, um, because there's no high fructose syrup, there's no ingredients, it's strictly sap from a maple tree. And the beauty of it is uh, it's a short season. It's only about a six week window of opportunity when we, where we can make maple. And that is typically um, around the Valentine's Day for about six weeks. And it's a couple other things that we're doing, we're not just making just the maple syrup, but we're also doing some other things where um, adding some value, we're, we're packing it in bourbon barrels and, and changing the flavor a little bit. Uh, we're making candies, we're making creams, Again, this is all strictly maple syrup, but what we're just able to cook it and, and change the structure of it. And then our latest thing we started doing, and I actually brought some in with me today. Um, this is our maple granulated sugar. And literally this is nothing more than maple syrup. And uh, we're able to cook it to a stage where it will granulate up into sugar. And uh, I can tell you this, the flavor of this is amazing. There's nothing like um, a true maple uh, sugar. Uh, it's a it's a one to one. Um, if if you're using white sugar, you would you would basically swap this out one to one. And um, it, it's something new we're going to start carrying here uh, at the humble crate. And uh, we're excited about talking to people about it. So I appreciate the opportunity to connect with you guys. All right. All right. Well, thank you, Josh. Okay. So what I'm going to do is. Um... Is Anna on there? I'm not sure how many other of the, my vendors are on there. I'm here. Okay. So Anna does, um, Anna's elderberry syrup. And Anna, why don't you talk about your stuff? Sure. Yeah. Uh, I know. Really original name. <laughs> I named it after myself. Um, 
but yeah, I make um, elderberry syrup and uh, that's how I started off making elderberry syrup for my family after a particularly bad flu season. A lot of people, when I say elderberry syrup, they think of something that they're going to put on pancakes like Josh's maple syrup, but it is good that way. Um, it's also an herbal um, immune boosting um, supplement. And it's something that my family has used for the last seven years. Um, I started off making syrup in bottles and I really wanted to make it so that it was more accessible to people um, because when I prepare it, um, it, it costs a little bit more, even though I keep my prices reasonable. I decided to start making these kits so that you can make your own syrup at home using your own local raw honey so that you get all the benefits from, from using honey from local bees. And um, so you just grab one of my kits and eight ounces of honey, um, cook it like a strong tea and strain out all the herbs, add your honey, and there you go, you've got elderberry syrup. Um, so it's something that we take every day to help boost our immune systems in the winter time um, and all year around. Um, and people also take it to help with allergies. My allergy customers, my allergy sufferers are my biggest fans. They um, talk so much about how it has helped relieve their symptoms. So um, it's just been a real blessing to my family to um, be able to um, help us through the flu season and to know that I'm able to help others. So yeah, um, Janice, really appreciate you carrying my product and for the opportunity to be on here today. Oh, absolutely. We're so happy to have you here. And um, one of the um, goals here of the Humble Create Artisan Marketplace is to help facilitate um, all these vendors, we have over 50 vendors, you know, to make it uh, available to the public. I met a lot of these vendors through the farmer's market. I was the farmer's market manager for um, the last three of the last four years. Um, and I got to know just a lot of people. Um, are any other, I can't tell Rachel, are any other vendors on? I don't think so. I've gone okay. through a couple of times. I think it's, I think those two are it. Okay, so but what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna, okay. So what I'll do is I'm just going to turn the uh, screen around. I figured out how to do that, and um, I am just going to walk through the shop and show you a little bit of what we have here, and just talk a little bit about each vendor. And then if anybody has any questions afterwards, you can let me know. And I'm going to start here just so you can see. Um, I was doing Anna's. Um, shelf when she was talking. I don't know if you guys saw that, but here's Josh's um, display. That is the uh, bourbon, the bourbon um, maple syrup, and then there's the um, the other two. Janice, can you turn your computer, I'm sorry, your iPad horizontally? There you go. This way? Yep. Oh, is it better? Oh, okay. That does look better. Thank you. It's easier to hold that way too. Okay, cool. All right. So there's that. So I'm going to start at the very beginning. Like say if you walk into the shop, okay, and you hear the bell. Okay, so that's how I know somebody's coming. So you walk in and we've got local honey here. We've got all different types of flavors. It's hidden apiaries and he's a guy that I did meet through the farmer's market. Um, he's got his uh, honey goat's milk soaps and other products. Royal Cottage here, she is uh, local as well. Of course, everybody in here is local, but um, she's got really nice gourmet jams and jellies, different flavors. There's her contact information. And another person I met through the farmer's market is Pam Dixon. She's with Calico Country Creations. She makes these awesome rag rugs and the draft stoppers. And she also has some jams and jellies. And she makes felted soap. And she makes uh, some uh, shampoo bars, shampoo bars. Oh, there's Josh, hey. Um, we have got uh, a great supply of pillows. We have a local artist, Christina. We have um, a good uh, supply of art or a good selection. 
this yardsy game right here, it's, um, oh, what is her name? Samantha. She makes these yardsy games. They're like Yahtzee, but you play it in your yard. So, and and there, we've got so many people that are staying at home right now. And then she also makes these personalized um, welcome mats. And we also have here at the front is Tasha's caramel corn. She is like the original popcorn queen of Pickerington and all different types of flavors. There's chocolate, there's savory and sweet. Okay, I don't know, I'm across the street from the um, fire department. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that or not. Uh, one of my new vendors, uh, the Golden Hobby Shop closed down in um, German Village in downtown Columbus and I have a lot of vendors calling me wanting to be in and she makes memo boards and I actually bought one of these for my grandson the other day. It's a cute little pillow with a book in it. Um, designs to adore. Make some really awesome wreaths. We have those. J. Fetzer Pottery out of Lancaster. We've got some really nice, nice pottery. And those 2020 grad cups are half off, y'all. <laughs> And then soup mugs, they're really, um, really, they've been a popular, popular item. They also make nice bowls and spoon rest. They also make, I don't want to go too fast to make you dizzy, but they also make these awesome wine chillers. They have been really great sellers. They keep, if you, if you keep a bottle of wine out long enough, but they're supposed to keep a bottle of wine cold for several hours. I know my friends will drink it before it would have a chance to get warm, but there you go. <laughs> We've got um, a glass vendor. I found them. They lived in the Plains, um, Ohio, down by Athens. They have since moved to Virginia, but since they have Ohio roots, they're staying in the shop. And Winchester Wick, I met Zach through the farmer's market as well. He's got nice soy candles. And let's see, the Ritzy Rose. You can find them also on, um, they're here in downtown Pickerington. They sell these prints. They also sell, um, sell wine bottle labels. We don't sell the wine. We just sell the labels that go on the bottles of wine. And here's a couple of good sellers there. And then some um, greeting cards. Let's see. We have linen. We have different choices of tea towels. These are cute linen ones. This one always gets a chuckle. You see that? <laughs> and Alexa do the dishes. And these are all handmade there. And then here's some more of the rag rugs I was telling you about. Oh, and she makes hardtack candy here too. And here we have um, hand wood turned bowls. They live in New Albany. They make all these, these are really some cool bowls. I hope my camera skills are doing all right. Another new vendor, if you have an American Girl doll, this vendor makes clothes for your American Girl dolls. And there's like a little sample. And Mel Q Designs, she makes bead bracelets, necklaces, keychains. She also makes these awesome um, air fresheners and they last forever. She has hand sanitizer as well. And this is Sandy Money Penny. She makes ear savers. Everybody's wearing masks right now. So these are save the ears with the elastic and some hand uh, washcloths there. And let's see, Four Tree Horizon. She makes the most adorable children's clothing. There's rompers and dresses. She makes soup bowl cozies. These have been huge sellers. You know, when you put, in the microwave was safe. You put your microwave soup or whatever in the uh, microwave, it gets hot and then that um, won't burn your hands. So we have two authors in here. They're a local. When I grow up, Casey Bowers and Alex Clark, 
And this book, when I grow up, there's a space in the back of it where you can put up to four pictures. And then when your child opens it up, they see their face, you know, in there, and there's different occupations that they could do, different things that they could do. And this one, Granddad Paints the Sky. One of our vendors in here is the illustrator, and that is helping a child deal with the loss of a um, grandparent. And then Irma here, she does the Afghans, and she does some of the bibs here, baby bibs, they're awesome. I've got a new granddaughter due next month, and these bibs were a hit, actually, at the baby brunch the other day. And then there's some more tea towels and some more wreaths by Designs to Adore. So Passion Works Studio, I don't know if you've heard of them. They are out of Athens, Ohio, and everything that is made by um, them are made by developmentally different people. They're, um, they're really cool. They're made out of uh, recycled aluminum those wall hangings and then they also have teas and some mugs. This one is my favorite. He's called Grumpy Fish. There's a uh, wall magnet there, or I'm sorry, fridge magnet and then pendant. This live edge table here is really cool. I don't know if you can see it, but this is made by a guy right here in Pickerington, Jag Industries. He's a retired army guy. And then there's Anna's syrup, Anna's elderberry syrup. We have Harley's soap. She's right out of Lancaster. And then out of Reynoldsburg, Ohio, this girl makes these gnomes. And I tell you what, they have been an awesome, good seller. In here, out of Lancaster as well, Lloyd's Leather. They make the most awesome great quality leather wallets. If you like the smell of leather, if you're, I mean, it's just, when I open that up, you, I mean, it's just amazing. And the quality is just, it's just great. And then my neighbor actually, Bob Miller, he hand turns these pens in his garage. They're really, really cool. I'm trying to get in there so you can see the good quality. He just brought these thin blue line ones in the other day. And then Lloyd Leather again, make some um, earrings. Something else that is a big seller right now is macrame. And Sarah Larmy with Mama Made Uniques makes, um, with just uh, all kinds of choices in macrame plant hangers and wall hanging. And I actually have one of these hanging from my rearview mirror. They're really cute. Wall hangings there. This is from Be Positive Spirit. And they have actually over here as well. You can kind of get a feel for the store as I'm walking through. It's just over 800 square feet of space, but I think I've utilized the space pretty well. The Positive Spirit, they make these really nice wood cutting boards and fairy houses. I know fairy gardens are really popular right now. And this one right here actually even lights up. And then m and Designs makes the welcome signs or assigned to your, um, you know, you could show they would make a custom one. There's a tic tac toe, wooden board game, toy box, and something that's been a really big seller. I asked her if she could do this, and she did. Their longitude latitude signs for like your town. I'm having her make one for the hometown that I was born in, in West Virginia. So, so there's that. And we have Buddy's Beard Care for your person that needs a grooming on the beard. There's all kinds of products there. And we have hand-turned wood from We Claimed Wood. Those are spatulas for your kitchen. 
Oh, this is one of my newest vendors too. It's called Butt First Crochet. And these are reusable balloons. I was like trying to open them up and she's like, no, you just pop it in a, bu a bucket of water and it absorbs the water and then you just throw it at whoever and it's soft and it doesn't leave balloon, you know, <laughs> balloon trash all over your yard. So, oh, and these little booties are adorable. I bought one of those from a new granddaughter coming and one of these bows. And this is another new vendor. I'm telling you, we have a lot of new vendors. Like I said, we have over 50. This is art, um, resin art. Um, it's just so beautiful. I hope that this does it justice. This is on a galvanized tray. These two are Lazy Susans, and then there's coasters, and then there's a clock, and then another wooden tray. And this is ball and chain decor. This is a friend of mine, husband and wife team. They make these unique um, lighting and home decor. This lamp right here is actually a touch lamp. It's really cool. And they make these um, any color. Somebody came in and said, can you do this in eggplant? And I said, yeah, I'm sure that they can. So they did. This right here is cool. Um, bottle opener. You open up your bottle and it's a magnet and it sticks to it. So that's cool. You know, you hang it on the wall and you don't have to worry about your bottle cap going all over the, all the, way over the place. And then there's a handheld um, opener. Laura B. right here in Pickerton, she makes un-paper towels, so the reusable paper towels, you know, you don't have to worry about, so I mean, I couldn't believe how much paper towel I was throwing away, and I started using these instead of paper towels, and it's, it's amazing. Another new vendor, I love these, these are leather journals. This one is a black, it's got 112 parchment papers, they're hand stitched. We have leather choices in three different sizes and bookboard choices in three different sizes. This one is just adorable. I love this little size here. Um, and Trestigas, um, Selena Thrasher out of um, Granville makes this. She grazes her own goats and has the cleanser makeup remover and different flavors, a sense of uh, soap and good in lotions. Here we've got organic dog treats. And those are little bandanas you put on your dog's collar. Okay. And this is M&M &M Designs. They make all kinds of things. These are really popular, bathroom humor. If you're into that kind of thing, it's really cute. And then we have some kitchen humor as well. These are egg cartons. And then home decor, Buckeyes. There's little Buckeyes in there, if you can see. And then they have wine glasses, shadow boxes. They've got tumblers. And these, um, these are the only ones that I have left, but a lot of these sold for Father's Day, of course, but you can get them for any time. Doesn't have to be just for Father's Day. That's an actual level. And this is a container here. You can put six beers or soda pop, doesn't have to be beer. And it has a, a bottle opener on the side. And then some mugs and then some more home decor here. And this is underneath Josh's maple syrup, Shawnessa Collins, a Pickerington resident. She makes wine bags, dress up your bottle of wine, drunken Uno game. And then this hydro dipped, tumblers and another vendor that we have it's the same people that make the wooden bowls that i showed you earlier she makes these adorable little doll clothes this just looks like a little flapper dress they're just adorable here and we have a great supply of masks since everybody's needing to be wearing them right now a huge supply adult sizes and children's sizes all different prints let me see. Oh, and I like to do these. My building is circa 1800, 1880 is what the sign says on the door. And this actual building is in this Pickerington book, history book, two times. And then we also have the Columbus food truck 
Canal Winchester and Lancaster. More macrame. And here's some more cool lighting choices. Can you see those up there? That is a vintage fire extinguisher with the fireman's hat on top. And then, I don't know if you can tell, that one, that light bulb is kind of flickery. It's supposed to look like a gas lamp. And Tatiana LeBeau, she does those um, round signs there with your family's name on it. You can custom that to your own name. And we have Hive to Hand, another bee product here. Different stuff, they're right here in Pickerington. That's Anna's sister, actually. She's got body butter and lip balm made right here in Pickerington. We have string art. We have dog collars, keychains, and Murdy Designs right here in Pickerington. She makes state patch hats, wrap bracelets, and dash pendants. And then right here in Pickerington as well, Florence Grace. She makes, she just came out with these candle, this line of candles, but she makes stud earrings and these dangle earrings. And Rootsie Beads. Ronnie Jackson here in Pickerington. And then Elizabeth's Originals. I met her also through the farmer's market. Great granola. And she just brought in some jams and jellies to sell through here. Head to toe by Marcy Joe. Bath products, all natural. Bath bombs, shower steamers, foaming soaps. And there's the glass fender again. These are some awesome uh, bottle stoppers. You can use these for wine bottles or, um, or even olive oil. And then trays, the glass trays there. They're like slumped bottles. They put in their kiln. Let's see, so we were over here. These are, these are damn it dolls. If you, yeah, if you get angry and you want to take your frustration out on something, you pick up this doll and you slam it against the wall. <laughs> That's what that is for. Okay, so I was over here. Oh, Crafts from the Heart, Peggy Gannon. If you have any, um, nursing or doctor friends. I thought these were really, really cute. They're nurses or doctors with the masks on. She also sells these stuffed animals. They're really just adorable. A lot of choices. This has been a real popular multicolor unicorn. And here's two fairy pillows and she can personalize those. If you have a child that's losing their teeth, you know, tooth fairy. Put it under the pillow. Maybe some of you have heard of duck butt seasonings. They make the really awesome seasonings. I met them also through the farmer's market. They have all different flavors. The jalapeno is my favorite. So I'll, I'll plug that one, but they're all really good. And then Campfire Coffee Roasters. He's right out of Canal Winchester. He has both ground and whole bean choices more pillows, and then Coffee Geeks. These are all whole bean, but there's all different flavors, dark roast, light roast, medium roast. This is one of my newest vendors as well. We have loose leaf teas, all different flavors. And I went ahead and purchased some tea infusers. I put in those pouches there. If somebody doesn't have one, they can go ahead and get that. And Buckeyes for Sam I Am. These are, um, Kind of a nonprofit. Um, Tracy makes these Buckeyes to supplement their income. Her husband, a former Marine, had a stroke, and um, so she's supplementing their income selling these things. Flora Jean Zip and Snap, right here. She makes some awesome, uh, these are such good quality, and you probably can't see the quality through the camera, but her products are really, this is an ID. And then it zips here. You know, you can put uh, coins or whatever in, and then it snaps on that side. She also makes these uh, pinch pouches, which are, they hold. Can you hear how hard that is slamming shut? I mean, it, nothing's gonna fall out of there. I got my grandson one of those, a camo design, and 
he loved it and he puts his money and treasures in it. And then those are makeup bags. Have I gone through everything? Josh, did I miss anything? I, that seemed pretty thorough to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think, I think that's it, but this is, this is pretty much the shop, yeah. Let me see, let me flip that around. So has anybody else joined the call that would be a vendor? I don't think so. Someone asked about if we could see the outside of the building so they know what they're looking for when they come into Pickerington. Yeah, sure. I'll turn it back around. I'll go outside. Might be loud. See the sign? That's my brand new sign. It's only been up there a couple weeks. I absolutely love it. I designed that myself. The Humble Crate Artisan Marketplace. I usually have a flag right there that says open and um, the m and designs that make some of the signs. She has one that um, I hang there that says, come on in, we're open. We're right across, if you're familiar with David Beckham Photography and the uh, catty corner there from the Historical Society. So we're right at the um, intersection of Lockville and Columbus Street. Is there any other questions? Um, I don't have any other questions in the chat. Do you guys, does anyone, if anyone has any questions, you can go ahead and unmute. Especially if you have questions for Josh or Anna, they're still both on there. Oh, wait, maybe I do have a new message. Hold on, let's see. Nope. Does anyone have any questions at all? Rachel, did she say what her hours were? Oh, my hours are uh, typically 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., Tuesday through Saturday, and Sunday noon to 6. Today it's going to be a little bit different because after this call, I have a meeting at the Chamber of Commerce. So today is going to be 2, two to 7, but typically if I don't have anything going on that I have to get to, it's 11 to 7. And then again, Sunday, noon to six, or I mean, I'm sorry, noon to four. Okay, thank you. Sure, you're welcome. Thank you. Do you want to add anything, Josh? I know you have to get going to a meeting. So we've got Josh's new products here now. I'm really happy about it. The maple, I cannot wait to try the maple sugar. I'll be his first customer today, taking that home. <laughs> That's a really All great right. tour. I learned so much. Oh, I'm glad. If, are you looking for new vendors or if somebody wants to be a vendor, what's that process look like? Yeah, absolutely. You can contact me um, at humblecratellc at gmail.com and you can send us a picture and just say what you're doing and that you have some interest in your contact information and our team will get uh, back to you regarding uh, getting back, uh, coming in here. And as you can see, I mean, we've got a little over 800 square feet, but I have space and I may, bye Josh. Okay, all right. Um, have a great day. Okay. And um, I've got some floating shelves back there that I can, I can always make room. It's amazing what we can make room for when we need to. I can go up the walls or whatever. So yeah, absolutely. I'm always looking for for anything new. Right now, I'm kind of looking for wind chimes. I'm looking for stained glass. I had one stained glass girl, but she decided not to um, do that anymore. So I'm looking for a wind chime stained glass. I'm looking for somebody that makes little boys toys, like slingshots or something like that. Cause I mean, I've got a lot of little girl things in here, but I wanna, I don't want to leave out the little boys that come in here and you know, so I'm, I'm kind of looking for that as well. So if you know of anybody, send them my way. HumbleCrateLLC at gmail.com. And uh, my name is Janice. It's J-A-N-I-S. And um, our shop phone number is 614-321-6441. Did you say if it's a consignment model or did, how does the process, how does that work? Yeah, it is consignment. We have um, rental spaces uh, starting at $15 a month and clear up to 100 depending on the size and location. And typically the split is 85-15. I got my hat, Ken. I'm trying to start. Okay. 
Janice, I know someone that does stained glass. Um, I'll give him your information. I don't know if he just does it like per custom orders or if he may look be looking for something like that, but his name's yeah. Kessler. I'll give him your information. Yeah, that would be wonderful. That would be wonderful. I would love that. And the ones that were in here with the girl that I had, they sold real well, but she just decided not to do it anymore. So, okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Okay, okay bye. Well, um, if no one else has any questions, we can go ahead and wrap it up. Janice, thank you so much for being on today. I really appreciate it. You have a lot of stuff. I've been by that place before, but I, I hadn't been in it, and I can't believe how much stuff there is, how many options, yeah. so thank you. I'm just looking at something else I forgot to mention. I'm gonna turn this around. Go ahead. One quick sec. I'm just like, oh, I forgot to do that because I was walking through. This right here, we also have dryer balls. I don't know if you're familiar. You throw the, you know, you get the chemicals out of your life with those um, dryer sheets there. I had no idea um, how bad the dryer sheets are for you. You can just put your dab of essential oil or don't use them at all um, or essential oil, but those dryer balls will dry your clothes just fine. We have surface cleaner there, um, some spiced sugar, which is delicious. It's got cardamom, cinnamon, nutmeg, and vanilla in it. And there's some trail mix. And we also, if you uh, wanted to try some whole bean coffee, we also have a couple of coffee grinder choices if somebody, you know, didn't have a coffee grinder. So sorry about that. I forgot to mention those. That's okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, well, yeah. I just wanted to let everyone that's on know what's coming up later this week on Virtual Community. Thursday is David Ohl, President of the City Council and Mayor Scheffler. And next week, we're going to have Double Edge Brewing and Candy Cottage. So that's what's coming up. So I hope you guys can join us for those. And again, Janice, thank you so much. Thank you, Anna, for being on also to thank talk you. about your products. We appreciate that. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. I appreciate you facilitating this for us. We appreciate it so much. No problem. We're happy to have you.